Hello, everybody. We're back with another visual pattern challenge for you today. Here's our visual pattern. Here's step one. Here's step two. Here's step three. Uh, and your job is to look at this pattern and see if you can figure out how many hearts would be in step four. And if you can do that, how many in step 43? A little more difficult to figure out. And then along the way, if you can write an equation that you could use to predict the number of hearts in any step of the pattern at all. So that's the challenge. If you'd like to take it, hit pause and give it a try. All right. Well, as I first look at this one, I see big squares or rectangles full of hearts, and they're in two dimensions. So I'm immediately thinking x squared. But then I have a second thought. It doesn't seem to be getting bigger very fast. So maybe, maybe it's not a quadratic pattern. Maybe it's just a linear pattern. And I think we'll have to look at the numbers here to figure this out. But um, let's let's just see if we can visually understand the pattern so that we can predict step four first. So in this first one, I've got, well, I've got a four by four square of hearts with one missing, basically. So there are, there are 15 there, right? Because that'd be 16 minus one. And here, ah, so it it added a row, I guess, to the bottom of this. So there's my four by four with one missing, and it added a row of four. So that would be 19. Aha, uh -huh. and then here is step two, and it looks like they added another row of four to the bottom. So that would be 23 in that step. And so if I were going to predict in step um, four, I would say let's add another four hearts to the bottom. OK, and that would be 27 then for step four. Let's take a look at the numbers carefully and determine uh, for sure if this pattern is linear or not. So we have the step number and we have the hearts in a chart here. In step one, I said we had 15. In step two, 19. In step three, 23. And in step four, 27. And then we'll subtract, take the difference between each step. So 19 minus 15, that's 4. 23 minus 19, that's 4. 27 minus 23, that's also 4. And when you get a constant here in the differences, you know it's a linear pattern. Okay. And this should match up with our intuition um, that we're adding 4 every step. So the difference between the steps should be 4. So with a linear pattern, we can use this equation for a line y equals mx plus b to model it. And the what's usually the slope, the m here, is going to be our change from step to step. So that's 4x, y equals 4x. The plus b we're going to use to make it work with the numbers we actually have here. This So far, what we've modeled is just the rate of growth, but we haven't modeled how many hearts there were to start with. So let's try it in step number one. So y equals 4 and I'll put in one for x, because that's what x represents the step number. That would equal four, but we have 15, which means we're 11 short of expressing how many in, in step number one. So I'm gonna just try adding 11 to our, our equation. So now we've got y equals four x plus 11. Let's try this with step number two. I know it works with step number one. So y equals four times step number two plus 11. Well, 4 times 2 would be 8 plus 11. Yeah, that equals 19. Let's try it with step number 3. So y equals 4 times 3 plus 11. 4 times 3 would be 12 plus 11 would be 23. Yes, that works for step 3. So I think that's our equation. y equals 4x plus 11. And now we can use that to figure out how many in step 43. So y equals 4 times step 43 plus 11. So f 4 times 43. Well, 4 times 40 is 160. 4 times 3 is 12. So that's 172 plus 11 would be 183 hearts in step 43. Well, how did that go? Did you get 27? Did you get 183? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.